Oh my gosh! There's pillagers. Where are they going? Uh oh. They're coming to kill me. They're coming to kill me. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> Okay, um, yesterday I recorded some because we finally got Minecraft Java and it worked. And as you can see over here, we got little babies to hatch. And, um, I made a little helmet which allows me to breathe underwater for 10 seconds. And, um, I got a bed, but it's, it's very, it's very hard and confusing because it ended up that uh the recording didn't have audio for some reason so it all wasn't it wasn't there basically so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack all of this stuff up because it is very dangerous around here and we're going to we're just gonna pack up and leave it's really what's about to happen and um i cannot risk dying because I have a actual, how do I explain this? I've got my bed all the way down there under the ground. And if I have that there, then that means that I have to dig my way out of there when I want to um, ever go do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my cobblestone out of here. And I'm just gonna come there and build and I'm just gonna get I'm gonna get that and we're just gonna dig down. Not this way. We were gonna dig down that way, but uh we're not this time because um well that's not it, it we get cobblestone out of doing it this way basically. That's the, really the reason. And uh, we're just going to dig up. Hopefully the turtle doesn't fall on me. Because if it does, we'll have to kill it. And I really don't want to kill the turtles. Because, uh, you know, they're our little baby turtles. I wouldn't ever want to kill my little baby turtles. See here, this is where our little our bed was. And now that I've gotten the bed, and see I hollowed out a bit. And I did remember that there was some iron down here. Which we are desperately going to need for a sword. Because we're on hard mode, and the mobs on here are really bad. I can't even tell you how many times I've already died this, like, whole recording that I've done. But, um, yeah, I don't even want to, really, because I died a lot. And, uh, it took, it was a two-hour recording just of sitting there and watching the baby turtles have to hatch and yeah it, it took a good while but it, it was fine it was uh fun to watch them get uh birth not birth but hatch out of their eggs and go crawling around it uh was quite entertaining uh watching them grow up knowing that i was there for the whole process but uh yeah so here we go we got all this there's our little base. There's a little baby turtle there. We can get some little seagrass and help them grow. And look out here. There's just an army. And uh, this is where we're going to be going. I have no food whatsoever, actually. I need to get some. I crushed an egg. Oh, no. I'm going to go near. We're going to get my food. I'm going to eat this. And then we're going to go off to search that village over there because we really we really need that stuff because you know it's just necessities like you gotta have food uh, I need a safe place to sleep and it's actually a um, what's it called it's like a igloo I think there's gonna be an igloo over there that we'll have to um we'll need to get and I'm pretty sure that has loot in it, so we'll be able to get all that. And um, my little babies, are, they're going to grow up, and and then um, 
They'll eventually escape, so I'll give them a little escape route. I don't want them to be stuck here forever. Goodbye, first base. Y'all may all escape. I will love and miss you. Uh, but see, there's a polar bear there. They're not aggressive, I'm pretty sure, unless you attack them. And uh, as you can see, it's giving me water breathing and my oxygen's not running out. But it is going to start running out soon. As you can see, there's a guy trying to kill me as we speak. Meaning, I need to get up here with the polar bear. Hello, Mr. Polar Bear. Let me see, do you want to eat some rotten flesh? Do you like food? What happens if I drop it? See, he, he's not harmful. He's not going to attack us unless we attack him. And it spawns in this, like, ice biome that I've never seen. And the fish are, like, on top. Look over here, as you can see. There's, like, fish staying on top. Well, not anymore. Of course, they stop as soon as I get over here. But there's ice everywhere. And, like, if you destroy the ice, then... Okay. Thought it was going to turn into water doesn't but um yeah we're just gonna really explore over here see that village and uh we could make a house like in the spikes but you know it all depends on what we do because my whole idea for this series is uh i'm actually gonna have an underwater base um and that'll be awesome because uh then we don't have to worry about all the mobs on land getting us like skeletons and uh they really really messed me up last episode the bane of my existence but uh look uh you remember the berries i got from my first series well this place should have them here depending on what they're doing but uh i don't know what that is that's probably wheat but i'm gonna check their houses He's obviously the archery guy. And, um, look at them up here. They're all wrapped up because they're in the freezing cold, of course. I think I'd be wrapped up, too. Oh, it's a little baby one. He's wrapped up. Yeah, nice bed. Okay, you can go right back in. And there's an iron golem. And, uh, they got a bell here, a center bell. What's he doing? They're looking at me weird. Okay. It's very weird. They have a cat. I don't have any fish, though. The villagers are looking at us. I mean, very weird. And I just heard a weird noise. Joel is very weird. It's scary. It's actually quite scary. I'm going to get this poppy. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what... Oh, no. Let me get that. Pretty sure the poppy is what um, iron golems like to hold. So I'm gonna. Do I have to drop it in front of him? Okay, guys. So it started. It's starting to snow now. So um, that's gonna make it a bit harder. I get. Why is he shaking his head? They don't have anything to trade, I guess. But uh, look, this is the igloo I was telling you about, and uh. What is that noise? And there's someone outside, I guess. But look, the, oh, it's an igloo. Is there a secret down there? Because that block of dirt was different. Nope, I guess not. Uh, there is an igloo that has, like, a dungeon. And, um... It actually, like, can give you good loot, as I was telling y'all about. But I don't think there is one here. Oh, he actually trades emeralds for tools. What is this? I don't know. Don't really want to know. Thank you for letting me out, good stuff. I guess we'll just go, since we've explored the village... There's not really much to explore left. Uh, we'll just go, we'll keep going in this direction towards that um, ice thing.
things over there. And uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get some resources over there that we will need. And look, oh, it's starting to rain too. All the weather's happening. Oh, actually, hold up. Just realized that it wasn't on full screen. Well, look, there's some rabbits. They're like black and white. That's pretty cool. There's a little cave there. <laughs> there's rabbits. They're pretty cute. And uh, look at these giant ice spikes. Look at them. I'm, like digging them and hollow them out. But uh, they just, they don't really do anything. They're just for the looks. At least, I don't think they do anything. So we'll just kind of come and explore here. But I do hear some bats. So maybe, see how far down does this thing go? Okay, it just starts going to stone. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just run right through this place. See what's on this side. There's a forest, and I've got seven bones, so. Do you hear that? What was that noise? That was terrifying. Did y'all hear that? That was absolutely terrifying. My goodness, here. Let me go to settings and get my, um... Uh, I guess that would be there. <sighs> I don't know what that noise was. It it was it was terrifying. It sounded like screams almost, but it was like a building. It was it was weird. It was scary. I'll just say that. And I'll come get some of these. Maybe we can start up our own little farm. Besides the one in the village, because we're not going to live in the village uh, the whole time. But for now, we'll get the crafting table out, and we will make some wooden tools. Uh, I don't want to quite use my iron yet, or uh, just the fact that um, I'm going to save it up for a sword. And uh, we need wood first. And uh, so we're going to do this. We're just going to mine it, and... Uh, I think in the next episode, uh, we'll build our house and uh, maybe start on the farm. And uh, for now, we'll just get the trees, see if we can find a dog. And uh, yeah, uh, leave in the comments what you want. I think maybe a um, just a good little log house might work. Some like birch wood, uh, corners, spruce wood as um the like logs and uh, if y'all want that then i'll do all the collecting the wood off camera so that y'all don't have to watch that and i know that i'm leaving all the dirt and uh there's a pig see that there was a combo right there that's what i really love about Java edition and uh i hear the noise again i think i heard something but uh this right here are those berries i was telling you about that do damage and so I'll put these around my house and they'll kind of protect my house and uh there's some pigs here I bring y'all back to the village but that's a pretty good distance away let me see where's that other pig gone I can hear him oh there's a rabbit baby Look at it. Where'd he go? He went that way somewhere. He's not with his mama. Oh, he was cute. He was so cute. But, uh, yeah. Actually, it's not going to be a log cabin. I don't know what I'm talking about. Because remember what I said? I want it to kind of be an underground base. Like, a uh, little glass. But I guess we can use the spruce and all that for, um, other reasons. And, uh, I was going to say I thought I had some pumpkins speaking of that there's a pumpkin already that's really what we needed was a pumpkin because uh what we're gonna do is in our little base we're just gonna have a little snow golem oh, there's a cave. 
and that that can also be a house we'll have like a house and then the house so we found a ravine i think we'll explore that in the next episode but for now we'll make a tiny little house and uh yeah i'll just kind of make it real quick not going to use too much it's just going to be tiny not very big we'll go by so one two three five one two three four five actually we'll make this uh eight by five i think that's i know i said small and what i mean by small is just like actually not it's not too tall um we'll go like i think three tall will be good just so we don't hit our head when we jump uh and we'll get all these back in the next episode and i am so sorry that this clicking noise is probably really loud but that's just my own mouse Okay, I think that should be good. And uh, let's do that. We'll come over here. And there we go. We'll just make a little house. Oh. Look at that. What is that? It's like a skeleton with armor. Hold up. Let's make a door. Where's our crafting table? Oh, there it is. We'll just place that there. We'll go. Oh, that gets us three doors. Kind of looks like a barrel. And there's a trick you can do here where it, like, makes it where, like, Zombies can't get in apparently. I guess I did it. I didn't do it right, but uh, let's go. Actually, we're gonna set our spawn here so that we don't get lost tomorrow, and we will go and kill that thing that was over there. And uh, I think that's where we'll end the episode. Um, see, it's a bright day now. I'm very scared. I don't have that much health. Got to get to cooking the pigs. And look, it disappeared. Where's it at? Where'd it go? There's a spider. But he shouldn't hurt me since he's neutral in the day. Yeah, that thing disappeared. So we're definitely going to need an iron sword for that. But uh, I think we'll have to do that in... We'll have to... We'll, we'll deal with it before we leave. Give it a little bit something interesting. So should we make an iron sword or an iron pickaxe? Because we did find some iron. So I think we'll start off with an iron sword. But for now, we'll put our chest there and we'll look above us. Where'd... The pillagers, they must be going for another village. Let's go check that out. They're definitely going for another village. So here we go. Oh, that's a chest. Come here. Place that there, and there's an iron sword. And I know what we can do with this last bit of iron, besides make another pickaxe. Uh, what we'll do is we will come to the crafting table, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and we'll take that out, and actually we need one there, and we'll put this little bit of iron there, and we'll make a shield because then, with the shield, we can block when they try to hit us with crossbows. But till then, while we're doing that, we'll cook that right there. And uh, there's an Enderman outside, but we're not really bothered for him. See, there's that. Where'd those pillagers go? That's what I'm really interested about. Does the shield work in the same way it does? No, you gotta click that. That makes that a lot easier. Oh no, where are those pillagers? Where have they gone? What is happening? 
Those pillagers, yeah, if y'all don't know what they do, I'm assuming y'all do, they go to villages and they kill all of the stuff and they raid the villages. So I'm hoping they didn't just climb up on this mountain and are not heading for my village because if they're going for another village, then they found me another village. And I guess I'll just follow them to the village because the iron golem can't take them all on. But, uh... Yeah, I think we lost them. So, till the next episode, we'll just get some of these berries. And I think we'll head back to base. Uh, iron pick, iron sword and all. And, yeah. So, here. Ooh. 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 Okay. But, uh, yeah. I'll end it once we get to the house. Ooh. Took some fall damage. Let's get to the house. And uh, I think we might just make our own little friendly snow golem in uh, the next episode to come live with us. I'm not going to risk jumping down there because uh, that looks like a good ravine. So we'll check that out tomorrow and that'll be pretty awesome. But till then, we'll get our six cooked pork. We will eat some of that and uh, we'll just send it off here, I guess, eating our shield. And uh, I think that'll be all, so see you next time. Bye!